Hi friends, welcome to our channel Be a Wise Investor. Please note, I am not a SEBI registered investment advisor. Contents of this video are for information purpose only. All investments are subject to market risk. If you are not understanding the risk or not ready to face the risk, please avoid stock market investment. We are very much thankful to you all who have shared, supported and subscribed our channel Be a Wise Investor. Please like, share and subscribe this channel. Good morning friends. Happy New Year. The new summer 2017 started from today, yesterday actually. <coughs> Nasdaq closed at 10,952.61, a gain of 93 points on Monday. Nasdaq feature is now trading at a loss of 26 points. Dow Jones closed at 31,499.62, a loss gain of 417.06 on Monday. Whereas Dow Jones future is trading at a loss of 38 points now. S&P 500 gained 1.26% and closed at 33,796.57, a gain of uh, 47 points. All European markets ended in green yesterday. Singapore Nifty is trading at a loss of 60 points as of now. All Asian markets are trading in the green except Shanghai Composite which lost 9 points as of now. Indications are that Indian markets may open without much change but may end up in green <coughs> though negative trend may be seen in the middle. Reliance industry shares may be in limelight today. It may rise after little correction as a demerger is happening immediately. Live main stocks to watch today are Reliance Industries, ICICI Bank, Kotak Mahindra Bank, Hindustan Unilever, SpiceJet, JSW Steel, Ambuja Simmons, Idea, Hindustan Uni Sync, UPI. Of all these, I feel Hindustan Sync may give good gains in the coming days due to superb results and expect a good dividend of more than 20%. Rishi Sunak's Narayana Muthi son in law became the Prime Minister of UK who promised stability and unity as his priority. Purvangra, first of Sales booking have risen 43% to 1306 crores against 910 crore a year ago. After sales realization have improved to 7421 per square feet from 6845 per square feet a year ago. Hindustan Singh is eyeing its operations in US and Europe in the next phase of the growth. A consortium led by Japan Industrial Partners in ANC is considering a takeover of Toshiba Corporation at a valuation of 6.1 billion US dollars which could be Asia's biggest buyout this year. Hotels may hike corporate trade by 15% from January on the back of surge in demands. Mukesh Ambani target 428 million subscribers with a new 5G service and seeks another 300 million future phone users to switch to smartphones. Debt mutual funds may give good reward in this year as per most of the analysts. Reliance will commission its deep water MJ gas condensate field in Bay of Bengal block in KG D6 by the year end. Real estate industry may face tough time due to rise in interest rates and a slowdown in the infotech industry. US Federal Reserve may go for fourth consecutive hike in 75 basis points on the 2nd November as per most of the analysts. India's forex reserve fell by $4.5 billion to $528.37 billion for the week ended 14th October 2022. Hindustan Unilever's Q2 profit rises 20% to 2616 crore on 4% volume growth. ICC Bank's Q2 profit suggests 37% to 7,558 crores due to drop in bad loan provision. KEC International has received new orders worth Rs. 2,042 crores. With this, the company's order inflows for the current year stand at 10,500 crores. Chalet Hotels posted a profit of Rs. 15.7 crores in Q2 financial year 2023 against a loss of 13.8 crore a year ago period. Saskin Technologies record a profit of 35.9 crores, an increase of 136% compared to a year ago in Q2 FY23 and declared an interim dividend of 
rupees 12 per share. Orville Bank's net profit of Q2 FY23 grew 6.5 times to 201.55 crores due to considerable decline in provisions. Yes Bank recorded 32% year on year decline in net profit at 151 crores. Multi commodity exchange recorded a 94% year on year growth in net profit at 63.3 crores for the quarter ended September 2023. Dolda Dairy recorded a 34% year on growth, year growth in net profit at 39.4 crores for the quarter ended September 2023. The following companies has announced board meeting today and will be focused on today. Chennai Petroleum Corporation, Nandini Creations Limited, PTC India Financial Services, Most Chip, Nutri Circle, etc. The following companies has announced board meeting tomorrow and will be focused today. Century Textiles, Crompton, Dauber India, Gland Pharma, Hypersoft, IAFL, Philips Carbon Black Limited, Trimalay Chemicals, Vardaman Acrylics Limited, etc. TFL board will be meeting tomorrow to consider rights issue of equity shares. Vaishali Parik of Prabhudas Leela that gave the recommended <coughs> two stalls to buy today. Metropolis Healthcare buy at 1588, stop loss 1565, target 1645. Coromandel International buy at 994, stop loss 977, target 1035. Axis Securities recommended to buy JK Cement at the current market price with a target price of 2920. Adani Power, Adani Total Gaze, Adani Enterprises gave 200 percentage return since last Diwali. Sumit Bagadia's intraday stocks for today are Kotak Peng buy at current market price of 1895.80, target 1960 to 1990, stop loss 1890.50. Dabra India buy at 536.85, target 555 to 565, stop loss 522. Anuj Gupta's stock to buy today are Tata Motors at current market price of 401.60, target 412, stop loss 387. State Bank of India buy at current market price of 570.50, target 495, stop loss 540. Buy stocks that may give good return by next Diwali given in live in the Petal Bank, target 230, Renaga Sugars, target to 120, Coal India, target 500, DLF, target 600, Indian Hotels, target 250. All the above stocks are now trading at nearly 50% of the target price. Make an analysis of your own and enjoy the profits. The following shares will be trading ex dividend today. CNN, CN Limited, dividend rupees 10 per share. Debok Industries Limited is trading come bonus of 1 is to 1 till today only. ICC Jam Insurance dividend rupees 454 rupees 50 paisa. LTTS dividend 15 rupees. KSALS dividend 4 rupees 50 paisa. Infosys dividend 16.50 or trading come dividend till today only. NMDC will be trading till today come demerger. Shareholders buying shares till today only are eligible for the shares of NMDC Steel Limited. These all are the information available with me now for sharing. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you find this useful, please like the video, share it with your friends and relatives and subscribe the video please.